Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for my Capricorns. You could have Cappy anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Or you could be cross-watching for a Cappy. Place it where you need to go, okay? Um, remember, be your own leader of discernment while watching this uh, general reading. It's not going to... Not everything in this video is going to resonate with everyone, so don't force anything to fit that does not fit. Someone could be eating Mexican food. Ugh, yeah. Someone could have been burning their tortillas. Something like that. I don't know. Burnt tortilla. Um, someone here could be feeling very... Um, Oh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I, I greatly appreciate it and it does help out the channel. Um, thank you for all, all your guys' comments, your shares, your likes, all that jazz. Listen, I need to make an announcement because someone brought it to my attention that I am on Instagram. I am not on Instagram. If you see any of my videos on Instagram, it is not from me. If anyone is trying to uh, approach you about videos, or not videos, Jesus. Um, readings on Instagram, or not, yeah, personal readings, offering services on Instagram, that's not me. Okay, I do have an Instagram for Linda Lakes Tarot and a cult lifestyle, but I have not posted anything on those. So if you are seeing any posts, they're not from me. I hope that makes sense. Or they're just people sharing my video. That's that's cool. I'm okay with that. But anyways, um, but not if you're trying to be weird about it. You know what I'm saying? Let me get into this though. Someone here could be being weird, the fact that I'm bringing this up, <laughs> but I feel like I need to make this announcement. I'm also getting you guys need to listen or you guys could benefit from he from listening to um, uh, music like the Hertz 432 Hertz 432. OK, um, it's for some of you, some of you also I could be talking to someone who's a Reiki healer or you're someone who is uh, you work very well with energy. I'm sorry. My face is looking greasy. <laughs> lord have mercy all right um yeah or someone needs a reiki healing i keep i kept picking up while i was tapping into your energy and meditating on it um for some reason capricorn either this is you experiencing this feeling or this is someone that you're dealing with um they could be feeling like melancholy or feeling yeah the feeling of melancholy I had to look this up. It says a feeling of, um, I don't know how to say this word, pensive sadness, typically with no obvious cause. So someone here could be feeling like sadness either around them or feeling sadness within them. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And the song that I channel for y'all is by Labyrinth. Um, Billie Eilish is also on this um, song. All right, and the song is called Never Felt So Alone. So someone here could be feeling alone either without you or you could be feeling this energy. Flip it where it needs to go or you're picking up on this person's energy, whoever I'm speaking to, all right? Also, I thought it was interesting that the album where this song is from is called Ends and Begins, okay? Um, so this is pretty fitting for the time that we're in, okay? Someone here could definitely be going through some sort of transformation or transitional situation. Okay, something here could be ending and something else could be beginning. I feel like someone here is definitely experiencing some sort of ending of something. All right, maybe it's making them sad. Someone here could have unexpectedly passed away. If this is something you're experiencing, my condolences, okay? Um, or someone here has left someone unexpectedly or without notice. Okay, or for some of you, you could have quit your job without notice. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Please don't do that. That's not smart. Um, but do what you got to do. It is what it is. I've done that several times in the past, <laughs> but I don't advise it. Okay, let me see what else. Um, but the song, how it goes, it starts off by uh, the singer Labyrinth singing, I never felt so alone, felt so na-na-na, <laughs> okay? Listen, I'm not the best singer, right? Let's just keep going, though. Then he goes, um, in a whip, thinking, what if you and this never existed? Hollow, kiss, bottle, liquor. Man, I'm sick. Man, I'm schizo so there's someone here that could be driving around recklessly under the influence of something could be liquor 
and they could be losing their fucking mind because they're drinking too much. Someone needs to drink water. This could be someone you're dealing with, Capricorn, okay? Or something you're experiencing. If this is something you're doing, you need to fucking slow the fuck down. DUIs are fucking expensive. So, believe me, I should know. Um, what else? <laughs> then it goes, all white leather. You know this man ain't shit without you in the interior. I'm dying somewhere in the dark. Okay, so there's someone here who's probably going through the dark night of the soul here. Or someone's in some sort of deep depression here. And they're just wallowing in it. Then it goes, all white leather. And I think what if we weren't riding and dying together? Okay, the whole world would fall apart. All right, so somebody here feels like their world is falling apart. Or there's someone here that feels like someone here is going to leave them. And, they, and they're just like thinking about it like... What would I do without this person? Da 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 da. Maybe someone here is trying to make a relationship work that's not working or is not meant to work. I don't know. Something like that is going on. Something's ending. Something new is beginning. And then, um, and then it continues and it goes, I never felt so alone, felt so na na na. Um, And then it goes, I thought this is Billie Eilish's version or part when she comes in her verse. She goes, I thought you were my new best friend. Uh, wish I knew better than when you were just, okay. Who knew you were just out to get me? It says my whole world just fell apart. Okay. Um, so someone here could have also experienced like being with someone who they thought they could trust someone who they thought was like their ride or die or someone who they thought was their best friend and they realize that this person was really just their true intentions they're realizing this person's true intentions were just to use them or to um, backstab them or something here and this could have put a number on you and how you feel about trusting others um, all right and it made you feel more alone than ever i guess it says because i never felt so alone felt so alone no 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 and it says i can never be more alone than when i ain't got you here so there's someone here that is missing someone that they um once had in their life okay let's just read what the meaning of the freaking song says okay so it says the song get out of here it says, the song Never Felt So Alone by Labyrinth is a melancholic ballad that describes the feeling of loneliness after the absence of some dear, someone dear. It says, in the song, Labyrinth and Billie Eilish express their emotions of isolation and despair, singing about how they never felt so alone without the person they cared about. It says, the lyrics describe the protagonist diving around aimlessly in a car, driving around <laughs> aimlessly in a car. And thinking about what could have been it if the person they loved had never existed. It says they feel unable to cope with their emotions and turn to alcohol to ease their pain. Store my life. Okay, I'm telling you right now, that's not the way to go. Um, it says the chorus repeats the title of the song, emphasizing the feeling of loneliness and the impact on the singer. It says the pre-chorus suggestion or suggests that the person was important to the protagonist and that they would be lost without them it says the protagonist realizes that they are nothing without the person they cared about and that their whole world would fall apart in the second verse billy eilish expresses her disappointment that someone she thought was her best friend turned out to be just using her um her world falls apart and she feels lost and alone okay all right this is what's going on with somebody this could be you experiencing this or someone else you're dealing with i'm also getting something about manslaughter could be significant for somebody drinking and driving and manslaughter that's not for everyone that's for some of you um <sighs> Ios. let's get into this though what do my capricorns need to hear regarding this situation i'm also getting something about stolen money is of significance for some of you maybe somebody realizes that they care about somebody that they did dirty it's also what i'm getting or someone here is going to be disappointed in someone also, with the with the the artist's name being uh, Labyrinth, I also feel like, um, and with the album being called Ends and Begins, it's like giving me like there's like this maze, okay, that you had to go through or something, and you're getting out of it. That's for some of you. I'm also getting like someone wanted to put you put you in a mental maze. This could have been someone who was like uh, like to play a lot of mental games with you. Um, yeah, I'm also getting like 
there's something here where you need to look um, from a higher perspective when it comes to the situation you're in because just like with a labyrinth or with any maze like if you figure out where the maze begins and where it ends it will help you better understand how to get out of that Something like that. Something about your second house. Something about your belief system. Okay. Something about somebody's resources and what you do for work is of significance. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be of service of others. Like I was saying, you could work with energy. You could be a healer, place it where it needs to go. Okay. Or this is something that you're intuitively feeling that you need to do. All right. Something about um, your health is of concern. Okay. Or whoever I'm speaking to, you're someone who recovered from some sort of substance abuse. Okay. Flip it where you need to go. Okay. You're not alone. I have as well. We have um, Pluto here. Okay. We have the need for control, obsession with a power struggle. So there's someone here that really wanted to have some sort of dominance and control over you. Maybe there's someone here who left someone who was like this. Um, and whoever you left, this person is obsessing them over you, crying, realizing they lost something good. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. There's someone here that wants to speak to you or there's a lot of... Um, communication that's going to be coming towards you or you're going to find out that someone here was using words in order to have power over you okay this could be someone speaking spells over your life or this could be someone here who um, was spreading a lot of lies and rumors in order to um, control some sort of outcome in your life okay there could be a best friend here that you're trusting right now and you're giving information to and information private information that you don't want released or something or that it's just, you know, it's private. And um, you might find out that someone was telling other people what you were saying to them in confidence. Okay. Whole world just fell apart. Something about turquoise. Some of you need to wear turquoise right now. Maybe this is a stone that will help you at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to harp? Maybe turquoise is your favorite color. What do my... Oh, I almost called you cancer. You guys could be dealing with the cancer. Why does that always happen? You guys could be dealing... Uh, you know what? Matter of fact, since I'm already saying this, let's get out the signs who you could be dealing with. You guys could be dealing with the Virgo because this, this is the card that stayed on the table when I was picking this up. So you guys could be dealing with the Virgo or you could have Virgo somewhere in your chart. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who are my Capricorns dealing with? Or what signs are involved? Okay, so you guys could be dealing with another Capricorn, okay? You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Baba, what are you doing? I gotta keep an eye on this little kitty cat. Tell me more, Spirit. Oh no, I gotta give him his medicine. Shit, I forgot. What time is it? Oh, my baby. Okay. More. something about medicine maybe someone's not taking their medicine if there's someone here that like um yeah maybe someone needs to take their medicine let me just keep it like that holy spirit holy angels tell me more or someone's gonna get a taste of their own medicine or someone thought that they whatever they were doing to you that was negative they were saying to themselves like oh i'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine <laughs> or something petty tell me more spirit we got aries this could have been someone who was in competition with you or someone here that wanted to challenge you in some way okay or you're dealing with an aries or you have aries somewhere in your chart okay holy spirit holy angels tell me more we got cancer you guys could be dealing with a cancer or you could have cancer somewhere in your chart we have taurus you guys could be dealing with a taurus or you could have taurus somewhere in your chart okay someone here is going to definitely have to pay a price here when it comes to something or someone owes you something here we got virgo virgo came out you guys could be dealing with a virgo or you could have virgo somewhere in your chart okay holy spirit holy angels tell me more what else do they need to horror one more for them please thank you and then we have pisces you guys could be dealing with the pisces or you could have pisces somewhere in your chart and we have leo you guys could be dealing with the leo or you could have leo somewhere in your chart all right you're being called to be a leader here or whoever i'm speaking to you're um you're actively leading your life through your intuition okay and it's putting you in the right direction of where you're supposed to go this is this is where you're going to be headed something here uh, something positive is going to be happening with your resources you just need to hold on to your beliefs and hold on to the things that you truly value all right someone here is going to come in with some sort of direct communication as well there's something there's some sort of secret that someone wants to reveal to you okay cappy i'm 
I'm also getting like something about perfectionism. I don't know. Let me get into this. What do, what do my Capricorns need a her? Yeah, there's something here that you already know when it comes to some sort of movement choices or decisions that you have to make here soon. Something about the number 27 could be very significant. You guys could be seeing this number a lot. You guys could be 27 years old. Someone here could be born on the 27th of a month. Um, something about the number nine. I keep picking up something here about the number nine. Something here is definitely wrapping up, okay? Or there's a wish here that's going to be granted, but you have to make some sort of choice here, some sort of decision here uh, first. What do my cappies need to hear, Spirit? Something's complex. Something's complex. Someone wants to stay comfortable, but you have to make a complex decision or, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, mental mental conflict, man. <laughs> mental conflict here, okay? We have rest and rejuvenate. Some of you are being um, told to take a break here. Someone here could be 24 years old. Don't have to be. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, or someone needs to take a mental health day. Um, time to relax, time to ease your mind, okay? Or um, if you're having, if there's a decision here that's complicated for you to make, or it's um, something here. Uh, go out in nature and meditate about it, because I feel like you're going to get the answer, whoever I'm speaking to, but you need to ask for it. Ask and you shall receive. Tell me more. Okay, we got love begins. This could be um, regarding some sort of love situation or some sort of relationship. Someone's area code could be 314 or 214 or 421. Okay, someone here could be born April 21st that you're dealing with or February 4th. April 13th. March 14th. March 21st. Um, we have rejoice in celebration. Okay. Something about the number 13. Something's definitely ending. You're going to reunite with somebody here or you're going to have reason to celebrate. Maybe some of you could be trying to manifest friends into your life, like good, trustworthy friends, friends that won't come in and betray you. It's coming in. We got regret. Or there's a past friend that regrets betraying you. You're portraying your trust or um, an ex, an ex here, an ex. What the fuck am I saying? A text. Someone here is going to text you. We have regret. It says, I know that I cannot change the past. So someone knows that they can't change what has already been done, but they want to make things right is what I feel like. Whoa. Okay, this fell. So we have three, 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 three. It says, you are a powerful communicator. It says, confidently use this skill to interact with others and share your creative gifts with the world and help those less fortunate. This is what you're being asked to do. That was pretty on point. Um, someone definitely has Leo somewhere in their chart. That's for some of you, not all y'all. But you could be seeing threes a lot. There's something about doing something in threes. What else do they need to hear, Spirit? What should I use? These? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to her? Ooh, okay. We have the spirit dance. Okay, it says life is a dance between making it happen. Let, <laughs> life is a dance between making it happen and letting it happen. Something about releasing control here to allow the divine to make movements in your life you're also being asked to stand firm in your beliefs holy spirit holy angels what do my cappies need to hear right now what do we got in the mental conflict yeah there's some sort of toxic love relationship that you could be conflicted about or th or this person that you left that was toxic is thinking about you we have, don't pollute your body by holding on to what you think is for you. Whoever this person is not aligned, whoever you're thinking about, whoever this person is, is not, <clears throat> they're not aligned with you. <clears throat> this person's full of drama or when they were in your life, they gave you, they brought nothing but drama to your doorstep. This person's very low vibrational.
Whoever I'm speaking to, you could live in America. I don't have to. But I'm looking at this eagle. I'm also getting um this eagle on this man's chest. I also feel like you guys freed yourself from this person. And once you did, you you um, you um gained more confidence within yourself. We have questioning here. It says, stop thinking too much. There is a purpose. Uh, there is purpose in not having all the answers. So just like the collective read that I just, um, that I'm uploading right now while I'm filming this, um, you're not meant to have all the answers right now. This is, a, this is about your test of faith. Okay. About what you believe to be true. You're also being told to shut the fuck up. I keep getting this. Be quiet about what you got going on. Don't be telling people certain things. Or maybe that was your lesson to learn. With that best friend who betrayed you is to not be telling everybody your gosh dang business not everyone's your gosh dang friend unfortunately i know this is hard to tell people who are who are naturally loving and open and empathetic but it's the truth i had to learn this too it's, it's disappointing <laughs> um but yeah there could be some sort of confusion here as well someone here could be uh, uh, overthinking and confused about what to do when it comes to love we got love out here this is a love relationship we got love here something here is going to definitely change someone here could be pregnant okay or someone here wants to get you pregnant we got um true love will find you and it will awaken your soul romance loving what you do soulmate so you got a soulmate coming in all right or there's a decision in love that you have to make here it's in order to make the right decision you're being asked to go out into nature or or spend some alone time or time to rest and rejuvenate so you can see or see something clearly okay i'm also getting for some of you when you're out in nature you might meet someone so let me be quiet let me keep going i'm also getting like someone here wants to create some sort of chaos here or there was someone tried to destroy a relationship here or someone will try to destroy a relationship here this true love here this soulmate connection why do we have love begins Ooh. okay come on now what's this okay whoever i'm speaking to you climbing up the ladder it says you're climbing the ladder of success one step at a time whoever i'm speaking to you're about to get some sort of promotion or you're about to get some sort of success here when it comes to the matters of love or when it comes to the things that you love to do okay there's going to be some sort of, you're going to be seeing some sort of improvement, okay? Or some sort of raise or promotion at work, okay? There we go. Um, Yeah, something here about being vulnerable. Someone here is deciding to come in and be vulnerable or you're being asked to be vulnerable when it comes to this new love that comes in. You may be like skeptical or um, you might doubt this person that's coming in. Because you're afraid that they're going to be like that same toxic ass person from the past. We got vulnerability. It says being vulnerable is the only way your heart will feel true pleasure. All right. So you could be having a lot of fears and worries about exposing yourself to people or to this person when it comes to love or opening your heart. Okay. It's almost like I'm getting like, you feel like there's, 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 there's not, there's so much pain you could take and you almost don't want to risk it again or something like you don't want to feel that again or um i don't know something like that something like that oh shit i'm probably shouldn't see that whatever who gives a fuck i don't give a fuck tell me more spirit why do we have a joy and celebration <sighs> we have the soul will <clears throat> the soul would have a let me start over. The soul would have no rainbow if the eyes had no tears. So what I'm getting from this is whatever this new love that's coming in for y'all. It feels like love and finances combined. Okay. Um, without the pain, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have. Without experiencing the toxic bullshit in the past. You wouldn't appreciate this this true love that's coming in for some of y'all, okay? Or you're going to be able to, like, uh, appreciate the things that you've been through that weren't so great. Because it taught you a lot, okay? It made you, it pushed you to be the person that you are, the leader that you are, all right? Let 
let me see what else whoever I'm speaking to you speak very passionately about what you do yeah this keeps coming out there's something here about a third party situation going on here or you could be juggling a lot of things right now and this is why you're being asked to rest to love on yourself this could be just you giving yourself um self-love or self-care time it says juggling career love and issues um it says leaves no space for memories so you guys also could be being asked to like make more memories go have some more fun but not you know responsibly okay <laughs> responsible fun we got harvest here you need to know your harvest is coming in it says you're about to receive rewards for all your hard work and your dedication baby all right, happiness, wealth, blessings, overflow. So you're going to have reasons to celebrate right here. You don't need to worry about whatever the heck we got going on here. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be 51 years old, 65 years old, or you're dealing with someone in this age bracket. Don't have to be. Um, this harvest, this happiness, these rewards that are coming in, they're going to be coming in continuously. We all know I don't know how to say this word, but we're going to keep it this way. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have regret here? Thank you. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you manifesting, baby. You magic. You create your own reality. You use your energetic power to manifest, and the universe has your freaking back. And someone is regretful because someone didn't believe in your magic. This is why someone's regretting, because you're now successful, and they see this. This this, this is bringing the shadow side out of someone, or this is making someone look at their, their shadow side, face themselves, and be like, fuck, maybe I'm a piece of shit. That's for some of you, not all y'all, Okay. Maybe somebody here is going through some sort of um, ego death, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. This is number 13. Um, yeah. You're going to be getting some communication from this person or something here is going to be taken off. I'm also getting, if you made a wish upon a star, um, it's coming in. I don't know about y'all, but I highly suggest you guys go outside and you look at the sky because um, I was having a personal conversation with God to myself, speaking out loud, out in nature, Okay and um well not out in nature but like in my neighborhood whatever and i asked something and when i was done with my prayer i turned around and in the sky a shooting star came so i don't know something like that you guys could be experiencing synchronicities like that or, or little small miracles like that or really beautiful situations okay you need to know that someone here is getting judged and you're getting judged but this is good judgment so relax um this is judgment time for everybody but it says i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges okay or you're being asked not to judge this person just know they they did what they're supposed to do on your path was to help push you in the right direction all right whoever i'm speaking to you're about to achieve some sort of um whatever whatever's whatever you're trying to achieve it's coming in basically whatever you're trying to manifest is coming in Someone here also could have been trying to stop this from coming in. Something about your power animal or something about your spirit animal. There's somebody here that's watching me that always sees a particular animal. This is your spirit animal. All right. Or you need to embody whatever the whatever the strengths of this animal is. Because it's going to help you with whatever you're going through, whatever this is. The number 19 could be significant for you. The number 10 could be significant. 10, 10. You guys could be seeing 10, 10 a lot. Yeah, it says our first teacher is our own heart. So, some about your heart chakra. And we keep getting this. It says you cannot wake a person who's pretending to be asleep. There could have also been someone here that was denying the love that they have for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear about this situation? Why do we got a mental conflict with her? This toxic love. So you got this toxic ex-lover for some of you, or toxic family member, place it where it needs to go, co-worker, business partner, whatever. This person was trying to do money spells on you so that you wouldn't receive money or you wouldn't reach your goals or you wouldn't manifest what you're trying to manifest, but it coming in. God came in and fixed it. I'm also getting someone wants to come in and fix something with you because maybe their this money spell that they sent to you is backfiring on them and they could be having issues with finances. This person wants to come in and apologize and say that they're sorry. 
this person is toxic though they're full of drama tell me more why do we have this card yeah someone here is going to come in and express how they feel or someone here is going to come in and, and tell you something that was hidden or some sort of um secret but this person you understand is coming back to finish what they started so be weary of this person this person is being controlled by the devil okay this person wants to come in and repeat a cycle with you or this is someone who has not changed but they might come in and say that they have holy spirit holy angels why do we have love begins okay it says i regret talking shit about you so this person is talking mad shit about you all right they they're in fear and they're worried okay this person's a hater so whoever this hater is that was talking mad shit about you all right capricorn this motherfucker okay um all their hatred and their shit talking just helps you become more and more successful this person's upset about this tell me more why do we have a joyous and celebration <clears throat> your name holds weight your name holds power this person wants to come in and say that they want you back but that's only because you're going to be celebrating something here or you're going to be um receiving some sort of harvest here this person wants to be a part of this this person's a fucking bully though this is a bully whoever i'm speaking to you know who this person is already this person is very entitled this person feels like they're entitled to all your hard work this person feels like they're entitled to all the things and the goal all the all the goals and dreams that you have been achieving or going after or that you will achieve someone's gonna pop their little ugly head out and be like oh i deserve this and this because i i helped you with this and this but this person may not have even helped you but they might claim that they have or they they might bully you into doing something you don't want to do basically holy spirit holy angels tell me more or someone feels like they're entitled to be back in your life child please or they feel like you're you you they're entitled to yeah be back in your life thank you spirit thank you tell me more, <laughs> Can you tell me more? yeah this person's toxic as fuck they need to back up please this person wants to come in and blackmail you all right caps don't let this person in or this person wants to come in and blackmail you about something that um you were vulnerable with them about people just they need to love themselves that's all i got to say people need to love themselves they really do <sighs> let's get these out i know this is not gonna be for everyone <laughs> no i'm not gonna get these out let me just see um let's get some of these out cappy holy spirit holy ain't thank you we got red flags pay attention to the red flags when this person comes in it says the signs are in front of you and are cautioning you they're cautioning you ciao we have 1212 you could be seeing 1212 a lot it says you are about to be showered with prosperity whoever i'm speaking to and you need to be cautious of the people around you or whoever this person is that wants to come back into your gas dang life tell me more spirit or be cautious of the people that show interest in, or love or who wants to come in and offer you love because it may be for the wrong reasons you guys could be seeing the angel number 33 a lot if so this message is for you we got overactive solar it says they regret it but they refuse to show it so there's someone here that regrets talking ish they've been refusing it refusing to show you that they're in regret but i don't know maybe they're gonna come do it who knows we got 222 you could be seeing this number a lot i know i have it says you were on the right path balance and harmony things are going to be put back in balance into your life okay justice is definitely on your side whoever i'm speaking to what else what else do my cappers need to hear we have control doing spells on your love life someone here is doing spells on your love life they do not want to see you in a loving romantic relationship someone does not want to see this for you this person who's doing this is going to experience financial loss if they aren't already or they're going to lose something unexpectedly someone this is happening to someone we have unexpected money loss from their intentions it's all about your intentions god pays attention to people's intentions ciao tell me more we have tight hold someone refuses to let go of your energy caps and says they are not over it this person's not over you. They're not over the relationship. They're 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 wallowing in their sadness, thinking about 
how it could have been, what it could have been. Whatever. Tell me more. It says cyberbullying you. If you guys have a platform or you have some sort of social media, someone here is going underneath your, your, your content and they're writing a bunch of weird crap to try to affect your social, your, uh, brrr, your solar plexus. Okay. This person doesn't want you to feel as confident in yourself. This person wants to blast you on the internet. They want to try to expose you or some dumb, dumb crap. So it's trying to belittle you and put you on blast with lies behind a screen, but not face to face. This person's a coward. This is a coward. Man or woman, whoever the fuck this person is, they're a coward. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. They regret doing this though. Because they're getting their ass whooped. Tell me more. Carmel's a bitch. We got 1111. You guys could be seeing 1111 a lot. All right. It says awakening. It says everything is falling into place for you. So you don't need to worry, baby. We have overactive crown. It says they are obsessed with spirituality. So this could have even been someone that wasn't into spirituality when you first met them. And then you probably got into it or you already were. And now this person, but they, this person took it in a whole nother direction than you do. Whoever I'm speaking to, I legitly feel like you're a healer. And this person decided I want to be a fucking blah. You know, I want to be, I want to destroy people. I want to do this. I want, this is someone who's power hungry. Whoever you're dealing with, this person's power hungry. They're entitled. They're selfish. Um, they're greedy. They're weird. Okay. And something going on with their brain. They're losing it. They're losing their shit from all the shit they were playing with. Because someone here doesn't have the type of protection they think they do. Alright? That's all I'm saying. That's why they're in this mental conflict. Losing their gas dang marbles. Someone here might get um, locked up in the crazy house. Or you might need to get a restraining order on this person. Okay? Especially if they try to... Come to your place or something. Let's get out Big Birth and see what the heck is going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Wait, before I get to Big Birth, let's figure out some good shit first. What kind of good things can my um, cappies expect? Yeah, you're being asked to hold on to your vision. Tell me more. Yeah, we have commitment. Mm. We have commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form. Long term, determined, all in. This is a tip. Right now, whatever this person is going to come in and, and, and try to bully you into or whatever this is. You guys could be seeing 111. Um, just know that uh, your, your commitment to your purpose is being tested. That's all. I'm pretty sure you guys are smart. You're going to pass this. Tell me more, spirit. Oh, man, that's a lot of cards. You need to know that you are protected at this time, okay? Or you need to protect your energy at this time. It says protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you. We have magnetism. Whoever I'm speaking to, someone here wants to drain you of this magnetic energy that you have, okay? Someone doesn't like that you out here uh, manifesting everything out here. Whatever you touch turns to gold. You're, you're very fucking magnetic, okay? It says a magnetic force surrounds you. It says you're being given the power to manifest your dreams into a reality. Someone wants to drain this. Someone doesn't like your power. They want it for themselves. We have rebuilding. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be rebuilding your life, okay? You could be reinventing yourself, revising something that you got going on or fixing something. Or there's someone here that wants to come in and act like they want to fix something with you. But truly, this person wants to drain you of all your good energy. It says reevaluate your life and adjust to thrive in your new circumstances. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't control. I accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Okay? We have wish granted. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm speaking to, your wish is going to be granted here, okay? It says what you've asked for is coming true. Meditate on your desired outcome to assist in the manifestation process. Miracles, good luck, and your prayers are being freaking answered. Whoever I'm speaking to, something about the night sky. Some of y'all need to look up, look up in the night sky, okay? I also feel like someone needs to go to AA, okay? We have good gossip says your reputation is very good at this time or you're being talked about in a positive way reputation image well known whoever i'm speaking to you be someone who's very well known all right or you could have a very good reputation and someone here it it, it like irks this person's soul that you are talked about 
in a um in a positive way someone don't like this shit but it is what it is someone was trying to control how people see you all right or someone here has been trying to send magic to you so that you wouldn't see yourself in this way all right it don't matter your wish is gonna be granted let me see what this is my wish is gonna be granted today. should we find out okay yeah whatever this wish that is being granted it's it's going to propel you into this new beginning here okay you got a two-faced son of a bitch around you all right so for some of you you guys could have wished for a new um job or a new home okay or to travel somewhere okay or to go on vacation or you could have um asked and prayed for a new promotion at work or some sort of improvement in your health or something here it's coming in for some of you, you guys could have wished for a child to be able to conceive a child that could also be coming in all right there's a man here that also wants to come in and offer you long-term commitment but um do what you will with that information yeah or there's two people coming in there could be someone here who has hidden emotions and they want to come in and express it to you I don't know how to feel about that one. Listen, I am not the love person. I've already said this several times. <sighs> but since we're on it, let's figure out what the love is real quick. And then we're going to get out Big Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on in love? What the heck is going on He. Some of you could be manifesting true love here. Someone could be working really hard to stop this. You must be one special lady or one special man. Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord. Holy Spirit, what do they need to hear when it comes to love? What do my cappies need to hear when it comes to love? What do they need to hear? Someone's name is Marcus or Mark or Marco. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who are they dealing with? We got typing and deleting. So there's someone here that keeps typing something that they want to say to you and then they stop or there's someone here that doesn't know what to say to you they could be at a loss of words maybe you're someone who has changed a lot since the last time they spoke to you and they feel like they don't know how to approach you now all right or someone here is overthinking some shit all right something here about divine timing is of the uh the essence <laughs> tell me more spirit one of my caps need a her okay Someone is confused about something here. I'm also getting like, someone went to the crossroads. Ciao. Someone could have sold their soul um, in order to stop love to come into your life. That's how much someone doesn't want you to be in love. Okay, we got incoming. All right. Mind you, this person could be an ex, family member, friend, coworker, uh, boss, whatever. There's someone here definitely that's taking um, action towards you, though. This person's on their way to you. Or there's some sort of message that's coming in. What's this? We have negative feelings. It says feelings of guilt, shame, regret, disappointment. Disappointment. So someone's going to come in and tell you this. Um, that they feel regret. Okay. Or someone's sorry because they disappointed you. Or someone here. Something about shame. Someone sh feels shameful about what they did to you. Yeah, we got the spark. It says chemistry, complimentary, getting along, mending. There's someone here that can't deny the spark or the chemistry that you have between each other. Ooh, someone here is, um, someone here tried to put you in a cage. Someone tried to put you, so, someone tried to bottle you up or something. All right, Cappy, someone here wanted you to feel like, um, someone wanted you to have self-limiting beliefs about yourself okay someone here wanted you to feel trapped feel someone wanted you to be stuck in your head about something here when it comes to love or about your love life but child this came in reverse so whoever i'm speaking to you got out of something here that someone could have went to the crossroads and asked for something to happen for you okay you guys could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities here it says they are they are seeing signs about you okay or you could be seeing signs about them whatever this is pay attention to the signs though you're getting a lot of divine messages at this time about this person coming in you're, you're really being asked to rest like i feel like god's like saying like i'm taking care of it you just need to sit down sit down be chill okay we have rejuvenation it says time to rest it says a pause okay some someone's name could be bridget tell me more 
Yeah, there's an offer coming in, but <laughs> ay ay ay, the bond, the blindfold, ignorance, needing to remove the blindfold. Love is blind. There's somebody here that wants to come in and offer you something, and this is someone you already have negative feelings for. This is someone that left a bad taste in your mouth. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or there's someone here that feels shameful about something they did to you in the past. They know that you didn't deserve it, and they want to make up for it. This is your decision of whether you want to be with this person or not. It says love is blind, so who knows? What the heck is this? You guys could be dealing with someone who's very prideful, narcissistic, manipulative. This could be someone who's very egotistical. Or this is how this person was operating in the past. Maybe they had an ego death, they're transforming, and they want to come back and tell you that they love you. I don't know. It could be a, it could be a plethora of things. I can't even talk. A, a, ple a plethora of things. <laughs> okay. fuck is going on you and another person have a soul contract there's some sort of unfinished business here that someone feels like you have with them yeah you need to maintain having boundaries when it comes to this person because this person continues to cross your boundaries crosses the lines um this person just wants to get you off path for a lot of you you're in separation from this person you definitely walked away from this person with this yeah for some of you you got two people from the past you got a real big narcissist manipulative weirdo and then you got someone that's not so fucking weird or someone here who actually did the healing work and they have a burning desire for you and you guys might be reuniting that's not for all of you though i'm very much aware of this it says let go to see results it says letting go letting go of control giving it to the universe asking your angels for help not worrying so some of you need to not worry about this situation or you guys need to ask your angels and your ancestors and your spirits for your spirit guides for help. Okay, when it comes to this situation. I don't know. 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 Only you. Only you would know. Only you would really know. What else do they need to hear, spirit, with this, uh, with a big birth? What do we need to know? Mind you, Big Birth is not going to resonate with everyone, so please take it with a grain, of uh, grain of salt. We have case got dropped. Maybe someone here tried to take you to court for something, but it got dropped. We got illegal surveillance, so you could... Confirmation. Somebody here could have been illegally surveillancing you, all right? You could be someone who's very self-reliant, and this is another reason why someone was mad about this, because they really wanted to be... They wanted to have you under control. Someone wanted to keep you like a pet, um, but you're not a pet. You're, you're your own person. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Yeah, this is someone you were definitely in a karmic cycle with and it's ending. Okay, we have drink more water, H2O, H2O. Someone needs to drink more water. We have black magic backfired. So someone here try to send you negative energy and it backfired. This is a taker that was sending you black magic. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. What else do they need to horror? Okay, we have train wreck. Someone here is a train wreck. Their whole life has been fucked up ever since you walked away. I'm also getting this person here who, who's been illegally surveillancing you. They could have been saying that you're a train wreck or whatever. We have having immune system issues. It says your immune system is shaped by your environment. The air you breathe, the food you eat, and the company you keep. So if you're around someone and you're realizing your immune system is being compromised or you're getting sick or you're you're just you're realizing you're getting a rash, you're having hives when this person's around you or whatever it is, your gut, your stomach starts feeling weird. You need to start listening to it. Someone here is visiting you in your sleep. Cuz this person is holding on to your energy tight. Tell me more. You guys could be seeing 999 a lot. You are beginning again. We have self-empowerment. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are self-empowered. Or you you protected yourself here. And this is why some sort of black magic backfired. Yeah, this is someone who plays a lot of mental mind games. We have, you're not confused, you're abused. There's someone here that's playing with your top. Or was trying to play with your crown chakra. Ciao. Someone's trying to make you doubtful. Someone was trying to make you forget who you are. Someone was trying to play with your crown chakra and your solar plexus. I don't like this. Tell me more. What do my calves need to her? We have trying to make you feel guilty. So someone's going to come in and try to make you feel guilty because now their life is a fucking wreck. 
but they were trying to make your life a wreck. This person could be involved in something that they're not supposed to be involved in or a group or an organization that's dangerous. Tell me more or is involved in illegal activity. We have inside job security guards. So someone here could be a security guard that or something. Or someone here was trying to get uh, infiltrate your protection. Someone here could be someone here could. Uh, mm, I don't know if I should say, dude. Someone here could have gotten it. Someone, I can't. I'm not gonna say it. We got spirit has your back. You're loved. <laughs> I can't. Someone, someone here could like getting it from the back, and I feel like this is a man. Okay, someone likes it in the booty hole. We have one month. Okay, so something here might be happening one month from now. We have don't eat their food, poison witchcraft, etc. Okay. We have corrupt organization. Yeah, so someone here is involved in a group that's corrupt. There's a lot of people that's got paid to do something that they shouldn't have done. Some about your grandpa is significant. If your grandpa has passed over, he is watching over you. Okay? Or if your grandpa's alive, he's got your back. Holy Spirit, holy angels, tell me more. Or something about your grandpa. Maybe your grandpa's whatever. We have now they're running back to you. Stay strong. So there's someone here running back to you. <sighs> This person's a fraud. Okay? Or you're going to find out about some sort of lies. Okay? Or you're about to find out about someone committing fraud in your name. We have powerful connection. You and another person could have a very powerful connection. This person um, that you were in a karmic cycle with could be a soulless being of an empty shell of a person. Tell me more, spirit. Ciao. We have a man should be an option, not a definition. Um, someone here was hoping that you would be afraid to be alone. Oh, wow. That ties in with the song. Someone here was, a, was hoping that you'd be afraid to be alone so you wouldn't want to leave them. Okay. But whoever I'm speaking to, you, you did not choose that path. You decided to choose yourself and move on. Someone was not expecting this. This person could have a cluster B personality disorder and they need to take their medicine. We have... Um, I am a woman by Emmy Millie. So whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a very independent woman who knows exactly what they want and you go after what you want and you achieve your goals and someone here could be intimidated by this. Okay, or someone doesn't like this or you could be a man, vice versa, place where it needs to go. We have, I try to break into your house. So someone here try to break into your home, okay, or your vessel. Ciao. Someone's gonna get in trouble. Ooh, 1244 could be significant. Okay, you're being asked to stay grounded. I'm talking to you. Someone here is going to be prosecuted or going to be judged for something. Tell me more, spirit. Something here about a fake birth certificate. Tell me more. Pisces, Aries, cusp. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Aries, cusp. Or a Pisces and an Aries. We have emotional person. Someone here is going to come to you real emotional. Trying to make you feel bad. Because of whatever black magic they were playing with to try to affect your life is actually affecting theirs. And they want you to feel bad for them. I got to go because my, my phone is now at 20%. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Oh, no, no, no. It could be thundering where you're at. Or lightning's gonna strike this person or already has. Tell me more, spirit. We have coming in to use you. So if someone's coming in to use you, if this hasn't already happened before. Or maybe it happened before. This person's gonna come in and do it again. We have you are a rising phoenix, whoever I'm speaking to. You're coming back with a vengeance and they didn't expect this from you. All right, we have refusing to see the positives in one's own life. So someone here loves to play the fucking victim. And that's what they're going to do with you. You have a fake friend around you as well that's going to come in all emotional and be like, oh, I'm so sorry for betraying you, blah, blah, blah. Don't let this person back in your life. This person's a very angry person at heart, okay? Or this person wants you to be angry about something. 
Okay, we have stay strong. They are coming back to try to change your mind. So someone here is trying to come in and convince you to do something you don't want to do, like take them back into their life. This could be a fire sign that's coming back into your life. Okay, place where we need to go. We have peaceful person. Whoever I'm speaking to, you could be a very peaceful person. And there's someone here that released private info about you to hurt you. And this, this is a fake friend that wants to say they're sorry. This could be a boss leader manager that was doing this too, that, re that agreed to release private info about you. Or you're a boss leader manager. Okay. Tell me more. Or you're in a high position of sorts and someone's mad that you have this. Or you're about to get promoted to being a lead, a boss, or a manager. Something about your mother is significant. Something about your brother's friend as well. Or your mother. Flip it where it needs to go. And tell me more because I got to go. We got believe in yourself. Someone's pissed and upset because you believed in yourself. And the reason why you're getting this harvest, okay, and you're getting this good karma is because you chose to believe in yourself. You just so, you you chose to um, take a, a blind leap of faith. We have pocket watching you. So there's someone here that's watching your pockets trying to figure out how much money you have because they broke or they're about to be. What else do they need to hear so we can wrap this up, spirit? What else do we need to hear for my cappies? What do we need to hear about my caps? Or what's going on with my cappies? What do they need to hear? Someone here is going to come in and try to chase you. Child, please. Something about pink roses and red roses. This person's holding a grudge against you. Whoever this person that wants to come in and offer you something or this person that wants to chase you now wants to act like they want you this person's been talking a lot of fucking shit and you over here adulting taking care of your 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 the things you need to and you're being mature about it i feel like for a lot of you you're hearing all this shit talk being talked about you um but you need to know that you taking the higher road is definitely going to benefit you in the long run okay stay stay taking the higher road or handling the situation with maturity okay Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have Savage. Someone here was fucking ruthless, okay? Or someone here is upset because you don't give a fuck about something that they're doing to you. You're someone here that, um, listen, I feel like this person was to help you get thicker skin is also what I'm getting. Okay, someone could have turned you into a savage, into a beast, a force to be we reckoned with. And this is another reason why someone's holding a grudge against you. We have creative creativity munchers. So there's someone here that steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates you, or feeds off you. Okay? Or this person ciphers off your energy from one of your lower chakras or from all of them. Place it where it needs to go. Yeah, someone here could be experiencing some sort of legal issues. There could be something here about some sort of court issues this person's dealing with. Um... Something about immigration or something. Someone's talking a lot of shit. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. What's the bottom of the deck? Yeah, we got clout hung hungry. It says, says anything, does anything, makes sh shit up. Dramatic. So there's someone here that's just running their mouth. They're dramatic as fuck. And um, they just want some attention. This person's sad. They need to get a life. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this wolf in sheep's clothing that my Capricorns need to be aware of? This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a pig. Note the date that is a wolf in sheep's clothing, or this is your zodiac sign or Chinese zodiac sign. Flip it where it needs to go. This could be someone who's in your family, um, or this is someone that you had a past connection with, or someone here who's working with your family or is close with your family, whoever this wolf in sheep's clothing is. This person's just talking a lot of shit. I also feel like this person was talking a lot of lies in a courtroom or lying on you in court, and this, this is the reason why someone's going to get in trouble. Someone lied under oath about you. Okay. You and this person aren't even like in, you haven't even interacted with this person for years, I feel like, or for months. And someone's acting like you guys were hanging out with each other last week or some shit. We have Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn or you, this is just you, Capricorn. Okay. This is what's happening to you, Caps. Flip it where it needs to go. But justice is definitely on your side. There's a masculine energy here that is, uh, A false flame for a lot of you this person wants to come in and say that they're your soulmate and they're not yeah be careful 
because you got your twin flame coming in this is why this is happening you got a twin flame coming in but it's not whoever this person is that's coming in someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of an ox note the date okay that could be your false flame Fuck, I gotta go. Why do we have clout hungry? Yeah, there's a karmic here that's clout hungry. They could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rabbit. This person's dramatic. They're talking a lot of shit about you. Alright, or this is your sign and this is happening to you. Flip it where it needs to go. Someone wants revenge. Or you're dealing with a Scorpio. What else do they need to hear, spirit? Let's get some higher selves. What do they need to hear from their higher self? It says, storms may bring... Pra <laughs> oh my god, I just mentioned thunder. It says, storms may bring passion, but not peace. So there could be someone coming in just to bring you that passion, that good, good, but they, they're not going to bring peace into your life. Tell me more. We have answers appear when you release the question. So this keeps repeating itself. For some of you, you're not supposed to know the answer to some sort of question here. All right. It says you have reached a new level and a new land to be discovered. There is something for you there. Whatever you're looking for, it's not behind you. It's, a, it's, it's, it's ahead of you says when a new door opens walk through it and begin again all right all right Cappy. let me hurry the heck up what else do they need to her what else do my caps need to hear okay we have six 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 it says excessive worry and anxiety could be blocking your abundance and your manifestations it says focus on spirit and being of service at this time this will help you tell me more what else do they need to her Come on now. What else do they need to hear? We have 1414. It says, let go of those negative thoughts. It says, use positive affirmations to attract what you truly want or desire. All right. These are really beneficial to do in the morning and right before you go to bed. Tell me more. These positive I am affirmations. What else do they need to hear? We have 808. It says, pay, pay close attention to your finances. Set a budget and stick to it. You must build a solid foundation for yourself. So something here about budgeting could be very significant for you or just keeping closer track of like um, how where your money's coming in and where it's going out and yada, yada, yada. A lot of adult stuff. We got 333. Three, three. It says, you're transforming. It says, abundance awaits, but you must forgive yourself, your past mistakes, and vow to live your life to the fullest. I love this, Caps. Alright, so this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.